Hello everyone, Justin Bush here, Lead Trainer Fit for Life, and this is just another short video uh, on some tips and tricks in regards to exercising specifically for fat loss, okay? Um, something that you're going to hear me say over and over again is that in regards to fat loss, you want to step away from the machines, you want to step away from split training, and you want to do things that engage your entire body, okay? So whether that's an exercise like a squat or a deadlift to where you pretty much just have to do that exercise in order to engage uh, a significant amount of muscles that will stimulate fat burning hormones, or whether that's when you come to uh, a workout like Shred or Boot Camp to where you're going to spend the entire time engaging in exercises that are multi-joint and uh, stimulating at least 85% of your muscles at all times at a high intensity in order to burn sugar and stimulate those fat burning hormones, okay? So posture is something that's going to come up once you start to uh, take the route of engaging these types of activities or even engaging these types of dynamic movements such as jump, jump training and plyometric training. Um, when you are getting into a machine or when you're spending all your time off the bench, you don't have to worry as much about posture because for the most part, especially in a machine, your posture is predetermined for you. So if you sit in a machine, regardless of what you would like to do, it's going to keep you more or less in a safe um, position while you're executing your, executing your exercise. Excuse me. So obviously, if you are a beginner and that's where you have to start, then that's one thing. But just understand that you want to, as quickly as possible, get out of having to do that and get into where you're working within free space. So once you start working within free space, you're going to have to always keep in mind about how to maintain your posture while you're doing your exercise. If you're ever watching videos on um, people squatting really heavy weights or even uh, deadlifting really heavy weights, you'll notice that there's a particular way that they breathe, okay? So on a really heavy squat, what you're going to do is you're going to hit your posture really hard, whether you're holding your dumbbells here or you have your barbell across your traps. You're going to then take in the air, and you're going to hold it, especially specifically on the way down. The reason you do that is because when you do that, you're giving your uh, your core pressure, which will help you with maintaining your posture. Okay, so if I take in that breath and I'm here and I'm holding it, I can easily maintain my core the way that I need to as I go down into my squat and make and keep my weight where it's supposed to be, that's gonna allow me to come straight up and not let me go forward, which is gonna make me fall and possibly hurt my neck, or go backwards, which is also gonna fall and possibly hit my lower back if that weight hits on the way down, okay? So, how to breathe and how to really maintain that exaggerated proper posture is extremely important in protecting your lower back as you start to engage in the exercise and the movements that you're gonna to need to do in order to actually stimulate fat, uh, fat burn. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. See you next time.